Uh, greetings. I don't know how much of you know, but you know, say, the Arabs enslaved African people longer than the Europeans. Yes? For over a thousand years, the Arabs enslaved Africa. That is why Northern Africa, the Arabic language, and most of the people them there see themselves as Arabs. It's an it's a actual invasion of North Africa. Stemming from clear to Egypt, go right over to Mauritania. And we're talking about Algeria, we're talking about Mali, and all the things them that represent Arabia, including, including the religion. And we know that the religion is the most influential thing when people decide that they're going to colonize the other nation. The religion is that which enslaves the people, them, grip the people, them, more than even the political idea. And it was no different when the Arabs come into Africa. If you think on all of the North African people who will give credence to, even Mansa Musa, them say the richest man ever. He was a Muslim. And if you refer to the Maroons in Jamaica, a lot of you don't know, but a lot of the, the language that they use, the Coromante language, is mixed in with Arabic words. You know, like a lot of a lot a lot of the words them. We don't know that. We don't know that. We don't know that there was a slave trade happening across the Sahara Desert into Europe. There was a slave trade happening from Northwest Africa into Arabia. That is why most of the people them who is black in West Africa who take up on themselves this Muslim religion, Arabic religion. They don't recognize themselves as Africans, just like the Christians. Most Christians don't see themselves as African. They see themselves as Christians first. Well, it's just as it, same way in West Africa, those of them who consider themselves Muslim, they see themselves as Muslims. As a matter of fact, they see other Africans who are not Muslims as infidels. There's an animosity that takes place with Africans and Africans where religion is concerned. We are infidels if we are not Muslims. And I put it to you, a lot of the people them who come across here enslaved Africans. They were, the white people was helped by these Africans who did not see themselves as Africans, but as Muslims. So for really enslave another African who was not a Muslim was nothing to them because they were seen as infidels. We have to understand, we have to understand ourselves and realize that Africa do have no friend. Africa do have no friend. Them come into your country and then eventually them have your land, them have your la language, them have your culture and they see it as evil and then they give you their language, their culture, and even their political ideology. And now we are grasped with the colonialism of Europe. They give us them religion, we have them culture, we have them language. We don't know where or where we're coming from or going. So we just recognize ourselves as Jamaicans and Christians. And that's it. We must, in this time, find our true self in history. Long before slavery, African history existed. Long before the invasion of the Arabs into Africa, Africans was there developing themselves. The pyramids of Egypt, uh, we call it Kemet. You know, the gods that existed in Ethiopia existed thousands of years before all of these people come into Africa. 
we have to reconnect ourselves. Reconnect. That is the path to liberation and freedom. And if we don't do that, we're going to be puppets and zombies forever. Give thanks. Thank you.